Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I am super excited um, and I'm very, very eager to uh, demo uh, a new feature that we have in beta for uh, devices uh, in Control Hub, and that is advanced software control. Now, this is something that has been requested for quite some time, and I'm very excited that we have finally been able to deliver this feature. And um, I'm going to demo for you now. Uh, those of you who are on the RoomOS beta uh, should already have access to this, and those who are not, just know that it will be released very soon. Um, and uh, But we're going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a preview as to how it's going to work, as well as a primer on kind of how we handle software upgrades uh, in general. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over so you guys can see my screen. Now, what I have here is this is me. I've logged into Control Hub, and I am at the Devices tab. And uh, up here at the top, I've selected the, the Software tab. Um, and what this is kind of showing me is a good general place to go to get an understanding of the software channels that are available to me and my organization, as well as um, you know information of the software, the current release, when the next version should be uh, is slated to be available. Um, and kind of just to go over that um, in general, um, most people will have uh, probably just two channels here. They will have the stable channel, which is our normal uh, run-of-the-mill um, released software. Um, it typically has a monthly cadence of when it comes out, um, and um, it is uh, updated uh, on a particular device. It's local time, usually around midnight to 1 a.m. Um, uh, whenever it's released. And um, you typically see this at the first of the month, um, usually around the first Wednesday of, of every month. And um, again, this is what everybody's kind of on by default. Um, everybody also has uh, the preview channel. Uh, now the preview channel is very similar to beta channel. And not everyone will have beta channel. Beta channel is the channel for uh, those customers who have enrolled in the RoomOS beta. Um, and you can sign up uh, at beta.webex.com for that. And when you do, you'll have access to the beta channel. Um, the beta channel and the preview channel are actually the same software. So everyone has access to preview. Um, and those who are uh, enrolled in the beta program will also have access to beta. So one of the questions are, you know, how? what's the difference? Why do we have two? Well, just to keep it very simple, um, even though they do run the exact same software load, there are additional beta features that are enabled on the beta channel. So preview is designed for those customers who want to be able to see the next version of RoomOS before it's actually released. And what this will do is kind of let you do some testing prior to it becoming into stable. So before a stable is released uh, at the first of the month, uh, the preview version and the beta version will be the version of software that stable uh, will get promoted. will get promoted to stable um, at the time of that release. Lastly, there is this other channel here called Latest. Um, uh, kind of hard to, to, to not show that. This is uh, just designed for development uh, kind of only and internal, so no one will really see that. But uh, as you can see, we, we do this for some advanced testing. Um, and these essentially graduate in this order. So, you know, something that is in Latest will eventually go to beta and preview, uh, which will then eventually become the next stable. So as you scroll down here, um, this is where you'll see um, each of the uh, software versions, the current release, the next expected release, um, and the ex actual day that is expected, as well as the changes. Um, you also can see that uh, you have the ability to see what devices that you have on your org, like how many devices are on this particular channel. Same thing down here uh, with the beta and the uh, preview software. Uh, you'll see what devices are on there. Um, you'll actually kind of see here that the beta and the uh, preview are actually the same release version. Um, so if you have them on there and you install it, again, it will be the same actual software. It's just what features are enabled. So rather straightforward in that regard um, as to, uh, you know, the, the software channels. One other thing to note is that right now we have basically separated um, two things. You have the room series, which is in all of our modern devices. So the, the WebEx board, the WebEx desk series, um, they run on what we call RoomOS 10. Um, that's the current release of RoomOS. Um, we're getting ready to start looking at um, some previews of RoomOS 11. So stay tuned for some uh, demos on that. But the older devices, which are still cloud supported, they stay on uh, RoomOS 9. 
um, and they will not get Room OS 10 or Room OS uh, 11 uh, when it comes out. Um, so they're they're still supported. They're just not going to be getting some of the new and advanced features because they're they're more legacy devices that we do not actually sell uh, new anymore. So if you click on uh, the SXMX and DX series, you will see that they have the same capabilities for the channels. The biggest difference here, and we'll go over this in a little more detail, is that um, it is different software. Same thing, though. Uh, latest will then go to preview beta and then stable. Um, however, uh, Room OS 9 is no longer on a monthly cadence. So there's, because there's no new features, we're only doing patches as needed. Um, so the, the software chain is a little bit different on the legacy devices. So coming back here, uh, now what I want to show you is the new feature that everyone has been kind of uh, waiting for, and that is the new software management. So by default, whenever you uh, have Control Hub and everyone that's out there has had this, it gets the automatic software upgrade. So this is the dedicated um, cadence that we have. So the monthly updates for stable, uh, as well as the uh, usually bi-weekly updates for beta and preview. Um, and um, this is automatically handled by Control Hub. The device automatically will upgrade uh, around midnight local time for the device uh, for stable. Uh, preview and beta have more of a higher priority. So whenever um, there is an update for those, it will prompt the user an update uh, at the time it's released. Um, but um, these are, this is basically what you have by default. Now, what you can eventually do, uh, and this is what's coming up uh, and what we're going to show you now, is you can also now switch to the advanced software upgrade. So by doing this, it's going to give you a lot more uh, features uh, when, in regards to uh, your devices and how you manage the software. So I have enabled the advanced uh, software upgrade. One of the things that you're going to first notice is when I come back here to Room OS is we now have a new channel, and it's called the Verification Channel. And one of the things that you're going to see here is that um, you kind of get a, a little overview here of, of what uh, is happening in regards to uh, the version of Room OS that you have. Um, and you're going to see some, um, some different information here in regards to, uh, you know, the uh, um, you see here expires. So there's an expiration date on some of the software loads. Uh, whether or not the uh, release is supported. Uh, so you see here we have a verification channel with supported devices, uh, beta, uh, and whatnot. But when you come here and you look uh, a little lower down, you're going to see that we have the stable, the verification software. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a rundown as to what those are. So I'm going to bring up a little um, page here and just kind of go through this with you. So again, stable is the default for MOS. It's typically once a month, um, everything that we had just talked about. Uh, with the automatic so uh, software upgrade, you get the latest software. Um, the schedule can be found inside a control hub, what we just saw. When you go to advanced software upgrade, and we're going to show you this, um, this allows you to select a specific software release for up to three months. Um, and we'll go into a little more detail as to what that actually means. Uh, this is fully supported by TAC. We also give you a new verification channel. Now, this is only available when you have advanced software control enabled. Um, this is typically once a month, so it's kind of the same thing uh, in regards to stable. Um, you always get the latest software release on your devices. Um, so the verification channel essentially can become your old stable. So it's a channel that's dedicated. It'll automatically be upgraded. Um, you can also select a specific software release up to three months, but what this gives you is kind of more control where you can have a stable channel where you have all of your devices. You can have a verification channel, which you can specify to do some advanced testing. Um, and then you also have the preview channel, which is going to give you kind of a preview of what's coming next. So stable and verification, um, which we'll, we'll demo, um, will have a lot more granular control as to when you release. And then the preview um, is going to, again, be a preview of the upcoming stable, um, contains fixes and patches. Um, there's no um, you know, automatic or there's no manual um, deployment of this one. It just happens automatic, typically about twice a month. Also noted that it's not supported by TAC uh, until it becomes stable or on the verification channel. Um, but um, this is a way for you to kind of preview what's up and coming that what will be supported. So essentially, you kind of have three different um, channels that you can kind of work with. And let's kind of go a little bit further and dig into this. So when I look at my stable software, I actually now have an upgrade uh, software button. And by default, it's still, uh, even though we have advanced control, we have it set to automatically upgrade. And that may be what you want to do, um, or you may want to have that on your verification channel to keep it on the latest stable um, for verifying on your lab or, or however you want to handle that. You also now have the ability to manually select your software. 
Now, when you see this, you're essentially going to see up to the last three months of software. So I can now manually select if I want to say, you know what, I want my devices to be on the on the stable channel. I want them to be on the Room OS September upgrade train. And um, I want it to still be you know, upgraded at nighttime, or I can say upgrade now to provide some urgency, which will tell those devices to um, essentially upgrade now and prompt the user that, hey, you need to do an upgrade. So if you find that there's some reason that you wanna you know, revert back or revert forward and you wanna do it right now, you can select that option um, to be able to do that. And um, uh, it will prompt those users and then automatically upgrade. Now, those of you who are familiar with it, if I'm in front of my device and it goes to prompt me for an upgrade, I can still delay it uh, for uh, up to 60 minutes, um, but eventually it will you know, force the upgrade. So it's not gonna do it while you're in a call um, and it'll give you the option if you've got a call coming up to, to, to delay that you know, upgrade, which typically takes about three minutes uh, for each device. So if I set this for RoomOS September um, you know, 2021, that's the absolute oldest version that we will support, which is uh, up to three versions back. I'm going to hit save and um, it will now um, let me know that it, that's the, the version that I'm on. Now, the interesting thing here is that this particular software version expires in three days. So that means in three days, it will be moved to automatically to the, to the latest stable version. So whenever a, uh, a, a version expires, um, it will um, you'll have to actually come in here and manually change it to um, either the, the version that you want. So let's say uh, the October version, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. I hit save. Now you see that my warning goes away, but I do now see that it expires in 33 days. Um, if I get to a point where my software expires, what will happen is, is we will automatically move those stable devices to the latest stable. So in this case, if the September goes away um, and it's expired, it would go to the latest release, which uh, should be December at that time. And then your uh, devices would be on the December and stay uh, there until they need to be upgraded again. Verification channel um, is, um, also um, going to have the same type of features and, and capabilities. So here I can manually select. Um, I can just choose to keep it on the automatic software upgrade chain. So again, a little more granularity, a little more control. So I could use my uh, uh, verification channel just to be on the latest current stable. And then I can keep my uh, other devices that are on stable on an old release until I double check or verify that it doesn't uh, break or cause any issues with any integrations or things that I have. But um, you also still could manually select. So if I do want to do my verification channel, and let's say that I am on September, but now I just want to check and see about October, I can manually select October, upgrade now, um, make that uh, change, hit save. And then now every device that I have that is um, on the verification channel, which I have none right now, uh, simply because I just enabled the software control, um, you'll see that um, it will be pushed to the October release and I'll be able to do my testing on it. So when it comes to beta and preview software, you're not going to have any advanced control. They're not supported. So these are still channels that will get the upgrades about, again, twice a month. Everything that uh, whenever it's released, you'll automatically get those. So that doesn't change. But now you have the verification uh, software channel and you have the stable channel, which is um, now going to take 54 of my devices and uh, put them on the Room OS October release date. So. Now that I have a little bit more of a uh, of this uh, kind of setup, I now can see that when I come up here um, and I can see that uh, I'm currently on the Room OS October and you see this kind of timeline is showing me as to how long it's going to be supported. So this will be supported all the way up into the middle of January. Um, and then um, you see this is where I'm at right now. This is the current release, which is the Room OS in November. There'll be a December release coming out. Um, and um, if, if you're on the automatic uh, chain, it would tell you what version that you would be on. And if you're on the advanced management, it tells you what version you're currently on. Same thing down here with the verification. And you'll see that with the beta and preview, they are automatic. So um, real quickly, what we're going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to say view devices on the stable software. So you'll see here that I have some devices um, that uh, are on the stable channel. Uh, if I come here, obviously I can see the device. You'll see that it is on stable uh, 1091. If I go to uh, my workspace, you'll see that this is on that same channel, stable, which is default. I can change it here, put it on the verification channel. 
So for example, I put done. This one is now set to the verification channel. Go back to my devices and software upgrade. Uh, we should see, uh, it'll take it a second for it to actually show up on uh, the verification software because it has to send the information down to that device. The device then has to you know, be uh, put onto that channel. And then you'll see that I have uh, that device there. Now I'm gonna click here and it's gonna kind of advance me over here and you'll see that um, it is uh, on the verification channel. This is the one that I had set. Uh, so this is a quick little shortcut for me to be able to get and see uh, the devices that I have there. So this is um, kind of a lot to go through. Um, this is something very, uh, very new, very excited about. I know a lot of people have uh, requested this and wanted to see it. So very happy to demo this for you now. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions. So definitely uh, post your questions down below. Subscribe to the channel so that way you get some of these um, new uh, videos as they come out. And um, as we continue to do more upgrades or have more releases, uh, we will continue to make these videos. But I hope you found this informative. And um, just until we do the next video, have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.